Shalom. Kah Laila Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem or Kankadash. All praises be to the Most High Yahweh in the name of His Son and our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity risking their lives and freedom to do so, pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad. Double honor and respect to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson, we are the children of the prophets. We are the children of the prophets. So, quite often in Christianity, they'll take a scripture and try to make it a one-size-fits-all scripture. But if it does not fit, it's not legit. If I'm speaking to a room of Israelites and I say, salvation is for all men, I'm talking to the people in that room. Just like Paul's letters, many people want to run to Paul, but his audience or his epistles, letters sent away, were to the churches of the saints, the Israelites. So we have to understand the context and who the letter is addressed to or the epistle. So I want to... This is a scoffer that was on um, the brother Shapov the Twelfth page, and then he came on the uh, Royal Priesthood 144 channel and causing confusion and going against the doctrine. Jared Angelus. <laughs> the funny thing is, Yerad is a descendant of Judah, if I'm not mistaken. I had to go in and check and then angelus or angels but causing massive confusion let's go here first let's go to the book of Ephesians 1 verse 1 Paul an apostle of Yahweh Hamashiach by the will of God to the saints which are at Ephesus and to the faithful in Hamashiach, Yahweh See, so this is at the church at Ephesus, the Israelites, who are the saints. Let's go here to Psalms 50. <clears throat> Psalms 50. Let's go to verse 5. Psalms 50 and 4. He shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth that he may judge his people. Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. See? So the saints are those that are under the covenant. In whom the law was given to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, hence the twelve tribes of Israel. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. It's right here, it's right there. So when we read this, Paul is a master of the law and has a broad debt. And he has depth and he has breadth of understanding, vast. So he knows who he's speaking to, along with the recipients of this letter. <coughs> Paul, an apostle of Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, by the will of God to the saints which are at Ephesus, and to the faithful in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. So there's one. 
He's speaking to the saints. Let's go to one of my go-tos is this one as well. Psalms 148. Psalms 148, verse 13. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and heaven. He also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord. So the Israelites are his saints. We just read it. The Israelites. Paul understands this. So we cannot make something fit that's not legit. <laughs> and if it does not fit, it is not legit. It rhymes with, you know what, poop. Well, you know the word, the more profane word for that. See, let's go here. <clears throat> There's another one. When you cross-reference Ephesians 1, see, to the saints, Romans 1 and 7, to all that be in Rome, beloved of God, called to be saints, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord, Yehoshai, Hamashiach. Now, what's the bottom line here? Why am I doing this? Why did I go here? Because the saints are all those under the covenant made with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So when you go to Romans or Corinthians or Ephesians or Acts, the letters are not written to the other nations outside of Israel, the saints. And the Lord is dealing with the elect in these last days. 1 Corinthians 1 and 2. Unto the church of God, which is at Corinth, to them that are sanctified in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, called to be saints, with all that in every place call upon the name of Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, our Lord, both theirs and ours. So this is why we went to Psalms 50, and we went to Psalms 148, because we know now the context. Most importantly, we understand to whom the letters or epistles were addressed to. 2 Corinthians 1 and 1, Paul, an apostle of Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, by the will of God and Timothy, our brother, unto the church of God, which is at Corinth, with all the saints which are in all Archaea. So Corinth is southern Greece, last I checked, if my memory serves me correctly. So I want to keep going. So these are Israelites throughout the footprint of the Greco-Roman Empire that were dispersed. If they were calling themselves Grecian, they knew they were Israelites and were Hellenized, Hellenistas. If they were calling themselves Greeks, many of these Israelites did not know their heritage. Hellenistas. Let's go here to Ephesians 3. So remember, Ephesians or the letter sent to Ephesus was addressed to the Israelites at Ephesus. <clears throat> See right here, Ephesians 3, verse 5, which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men, as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs and of the same body 
and partakers of his promise in Hamashiach by the gospel. So we cannot get all messed up. Remember, this is a letter written to the Israelites at Ephesus. So we cannot suck everybody into the vacuum of the message. This is what they do in these false institutions of higher learning. So these Gentiles, the key word here is what? Heirs, fellow heirs. That means under the covenant of promise. <clears throat> whereof I was made, <laughs> whereof I was made a minister according to the gift of the grace of God given unto me by the effectual working of his power. See, we're going to keep reading. Unto me, whom am less than the least of all saints, is the grace given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Hamashiach. See, so the, the collective audience are the Israelites, the saints. We prove that with Psalms 50 and Psalms 148. And who are the heirs? What heirs? We're going to read it. So this is telling you that only the Israelites are under the covenant or the heirs of promise to share in the promises with Yahavashai, joint heirs. See, it's right here. First Corinthians, excuse me, first Chronicles 16 and 13. O ye seed of Israel, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen ones. That seed is a male spermal bloodline. The 12 tribes, the Israelites. He is the Lord, our God. His judgments are in all the earth. Be ye mindful always of his covenant, the word which he commanded to a thousand generations. So these heirs are under the covenants that he made with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the 12 tribes. We cannot be heirs or inherit something that was not promised to us. If we're not in the will of the Rothschilds, then we're not going to get a damn thing. We can't pick up the will of a Rothschild, an Oppenheimer, a DuPont, and just squeeze ourselves into the wheel or to be joint heirs with the Rothschilds, the Oppenheimers, the DuPonts, the Gettys. It does not work that way. We understand it when we read it or when we hear it in secular terms, but when it comes to the Bible, the Bible is a spiritual book, so it can bug us out and blind our eyes if we're not chosen or anointed to get it. Be ye mindful always of his covenant, the word which he commanded to a thousand generations. So who are the heirs or joint inheritors of the promises? It's right here. Even of the covenant which he made with Abraham and of his oath unto Isaac and have confirmed the same to Jacob for a law and to Israel for an everlasting covenant. So it is not going to be disannulled, everlasting, which takes us here. We cannot make ourselves fit into something that was not promised to us by a will and testimony or a will and testament. <clears throat> so the testator, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, our Lord and Savior, died. So we're under the blood of that covenant. And it's sealed with the blood of the anointed, which starts with Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach. So the elect is able to be partakers in that inheritance or be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. 
the promises given from on high, our heavenly Father. See, let's go here. Psalm 78, verse 4. Let's go to 3. <clears throat> Which we heard and known, and our fathers have told us. So this is not talking about the fathers of Moab, China, Ammon, Japan, Ishmael, the so-called Arabs. It's talking about the Israelites, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Well, Abraham and Isaac would be regenerated as Israelites. Psalms 78 and 3, which we have heard and known, and our fathers have told us. We will not hide them from their children, showing to the generation to come the praises of the Lord and his strength and his marvelous works that he have done. So what is this talking about? Well, the Bible is going to explain itself. For well, he established a testimony in Jacob. Say what? For well, he established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded our fathers that they should make them known to their children. So this is in the context of those that the covenant of, covenant of promise was made with. Let's jump down to verse 10. See? They kept not the covenant of God and refused to walk in his law. So we cannot make ourselves fit something that does not address us or if it's not addressed to us and making ourselves relevant to something that we have no part in or are not partakers of. The other nations have no part in no covenant under the word of promise from the Most High. We read it. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Israelites. Let's go here. Yeah, see? Let's go to Acts 3. Acts 3, verse 22. For Moses truly said unto the fathers, a prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren, like unto me, him shall ye hear in all things, whatsoever he shall say unto you. So the brethren are the Israelites. That's the context. Let's go into it. Brethren, brethren, even when you read what Shai said, love thy neighbor, when you go into that word, it translates into brethren. So it's talking about the Israelites. And right now, the elect, are the brotherhood is comprised of the elect. See, brethren, brethren, let's look it up. <clears throat> national, having the same national ancestor, belonging to the same people or countrymen. Come on now. Same father. Nationality is determined by the fathers. Even the scripture confirms that. See right here. Acts 3 and 22. But Moses truly said unto the fathers, A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren. Like unto me, him shall ye hear in all things, whatsoever he shall say unto you. That's talking about Yahweh, 
Mashiach of the fathers, so the Israelites. And it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. So the Israelites that will not obey his voice. So the same spirit was in the wilderness. <clears throat> Let's get it. Exodus 23. Uh, Exodus 20. I think it's Exodus. One minute. Minute. Yeah, right here. Exodus 23 and 20. This is Yahweh Shai, the angel of the Lord. Exodus 23 and 20. Behold, I sent an angel before thee to keep thee in the way and to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. Beware of him and obey his voice. Provoke him not for he will not pardon your transgressions, for my name is in him. So the spirit of the heavenly father, Yahweh, is in Yahweh Shai, which carries the doctrine as well. That's why he said, obey his voice. Beware of him and obey his voice. Provoke him not, for he will not pardon your transgressions, for my name is in him. But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy unto thine enemies and an adversary unto thine adversaries. And this is why the world is being turned right side up right now. Because the Israelites are waking up and calling on the Heavenly Father's name, Yahweh, through the mediator or intercessor, the angel of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach. See? Acts 3 and 23. And it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. So that prophet is Yahweh Shai. That was prophesied to come back as Yahweh Shai, a mortal man in the flesh. Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Yea, and all the prophets from Samuel and those that follow after, as many as have spoken, have likewise foretold of these days. Ye are the children of the prophets and of the covenant which God made with our fathers, saying unto Abraham, And in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. So this only pertains to the descendants of Jacob, the Israelites, of the fathers, so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and Latinos, unto you first, God, having raised up his son, Yahweh Shai, sent him to bless you in turning away every one of you from his iniquities. Wow, look at the time. 144. Let's get ready to close this out. So here's another example. Remember, when you read Corinthians, it's addressed to the saints. Pursuant to Psalms 50 and Psalms 148, the saints are the Israelites. So we established that at the beginning of this lesson. Let's go here. 1 Corinthians 10 and verse 1. Moreover, brethren, I would not. Moreover, brethren, the Israelites are the brethren, the brotherhood. 
Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea. Who does this pertain to? <coughs> See, let's read it again. Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea. Who was led through the Red Sea under Moses following the angel of the Lord, Yahawashai? Let's see. Exodus 13 and 21. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud to lead them the way and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light to go by day and night. These are the Israelites. He took not away the pillar of the cloud by day nor the pillar of fire by night from before the people. Let's go out. See who this is talking about. <laughs> I mean, come on now. We cannot make this pertain to the other nations. Only the Israelites were, read, were led through the Red Sea. Only the Israelites were led through the Red Sea. Under Moses being delivered by the angel of the Lord. <clears throat> See, it's right here. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Sanctify unto me all the firstborn whatsoever openeth the womb among the children of Israel, both of man and of beast, it is mine. So the elect right now is being racked and stacked back in order of the house of Israel. That's happening right now. So if it does not fit to the other nations, then we cannot just squeeze them in there when it does not pertain to them. It's not applicable. <clears throat> Under the cloud, that cloud is the chariot of Yahweh Shai. Shows up again in here. It's right in here, being delivered from Pharaoh. And according to Romans chapter 9, the modern day Pharaoh are the Edomites. Their ruling elite. Right here. Exodus 14. And 20. Exodus 14 and 19. And the angel of God, which went before the camp of Israel, removed and went behind them. And the pillar of the cloud went from before their face and stood behind them. So a large chariot, a so-called UFO, burned the ancient Egyptians to a crisp. They were just charcoal grilled along the shoreline <laughs> and many of them drowned most of them drowned rather and it came between exodus 14 and 20 and it came between the camp of the egyptians and the camp of israel and it was a cloud and darkness to them but it gave light by night to these so that the one came not near the other all the night. So Corinthians only pertain to the saints, the Israelites. We'll get it again. First Corinthians 10 and 1. Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea and were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea. So Moses is that point man 
that go to man of the Most High, which is also Peter, which is also David. Let's close out here. Voices are dry. And we read that, so we're good. Unto the fathers of the covenants. We consistently read that. Psalm 78 and Psalms 50. Acts 3 and 25. Ye are the children of the prophets and of the covenant which God made with our fathers, saying unto Abraham, and in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. So the Israelites are going to have employees all around the world throughout the four corners of the earth where the Israelites have served as employees or slaves. The children of the covenant. I think we read it here as well. And we'll close out here. Where are we reading that? That was Psalm 78. Well, we read it here too. See? Psalms 50 and 5. Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Blood sacrifice. In the Old Testament, under Moses, the blood of goats and rams. But now, Yahweh Shai is the blood sacrifice that is waking up the elect in these last days, the comforting spirit, the comforter. See? One more. Psalm 78 and 10. They kept not the covenant of God and refused to walk in his law. So now through Yahweh Shai, we don't die under the penalty of breaking that law because now we have a renewed covenant or new testament because of the blood of the lamb, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach which is built on better eternal promises. So we cannot, make we cannot make something apply to a people that it's not relevant to at all. Hopefully, this lesson has been edifying. Our praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Kwakadash, See you on the next lesson, Lord willing. Kwam Yeshawala and the five Papal. We got next, Lord willing. Barakatam. Shalom.